Ich heiße Hans-Jörg Schlögel. Ich bin seit 19 Jahren hier in Katar. Ich bin 52 Jahre alt und äh, arbeite bei Texas A&M University im äh, Computerbereich. When we arrived in Qatar, that was 19 years ago, uh, we came, I came with my wife and two children, one son, one daughter, they were one and three years old, very, very young. And coming here, it was all kind of a totally different world. And uh, it took us quite a while to get used to everything, to not get lost anymore, but find our way through the streets. And uh, we had all kinds of interesting experiences and we experienced, for example, one time I had this old rental car and the car had a flat tire and I tried to change the tire but I couldn't because there was no equipment in the car so I really had no idea what to do. What I did then, I just waited and suddenly Land Cruiser behind me stopped and some friendly country guy got out of his car, got the equipment in his white thobe, uh, he he exchanged the tire, got his hands dirty, did all the work for me, and I just stood there and was uh, amazed, I was in awe about the friendliness and how helpful are when I was in big trouble and didn't know what to do. And I had a lot of other experience in immigration. Again, I didn't know what to do, and some guy, he stood me being totally lost there, and he came to me and said, do you need any help? I said, absolutely, and so he helped me, and. Uh, to kind of deal with the whole residency issue. And so it was a little tough, but at the same time, we experienced amazing help so, so many times. And uh, it was difficult for the kids because they didn't speak any word of English when they came. So they first needed to learn English. And uh, that took a while, but then they made friends and they really enjoy having friends from all different countries. Doha, that you meet people from all over the world, very interesting people and that's, one reason why I really like being here so much. Like many people, I like to travel, and um, whereas a lot of people use, their, make it as their hobby, I decided I really want to make it the other way around. I want to move and uh, live in a different part of the world and make my work and my living place uh, the adventure. Uh, I decided I want to go to the Middle East because I had a lot of Arabic friends. I really like the friendliness of uh, the people here, very social. And so I decided I want to go to the Middle East. But going to the Middle East, I thought I need to speak their language. So I tried and started to learn the Arabic language. And I tried to learn Arabic, but Arabic is very difficult. The words are like القواعد صعب لكن اخيرا تعلمت شوي وشوي وبعد الحين تقريبا 20 سنه انا ممكن افهم كثير بالعربي وانا ممكن اتكلم ولما اروح لوزاره ومكتب ممكن اكلم مع الناس ممكن اسولف في مجلس مع اصدقائي وهي انا احب هذا الكلام و so when I came here, I first started to work for Qatar University in the engineering department as an instructor for science. And at that time, we're living in Marchia. There was just the last house before the desert and my kids were very small, only like three, four, five years old, and they really liked to go in the desert, explore, and kind of look for some uh, deserted houses and uh, hunting for scorpions, and it was uh, very adventurous for them. I think they really enjoyed it. And then afterwards, uh, I moved on and got work at Texas A&M University at Qatar Foundation, and there we moved from uh, Marchia to a place close to the coach of the North Atlantic. And at that time, that was again at the very end of the city and uh, there was the desert right next to it. The kids were older then, but uh, we still went out in the desert, talked together as family and kind of explored something in the desert. 
And I think for the kids, they really liked it because they had the big city. At the same time, they had the beach. And at the same time, they were able to go in the desert and kind of explore on their own. And um, so they had a very interesting and adventurous uh, childhood. And that was one of the things I think my kids are still grateful for. So over the years, the kids got older, and the interesting thing is that uh, because they went to an international school, they made friends from all kinds of um, countries and regions and religions, and so they grew up in a much more di diverse environment than they would do like in Germany or in some other place. So they're very familiar with all kinds of people, and they enjoy actually uh, speaking to all kinds of people, and they feel very much at home in an Arabic environment, in an Western environment, and they enjoy the advantages of uh, the culture. So when we moved here, we came from Munich, Germany, and uh, it's very cold there. I mean, winter we have lots of snow, and summer we have maybe 20, 25 degrees, not more. So our first summer in Doha, one Friday we went as a family, we decided we want to go to the park and have some fun there. So we got there and we were surprised there were very, very few cars, very few people there, and we thought, wow, we're really good, I mean, nobody's there and so we can enjoy the park just for ourselves. So we started to walk around, but after 10 minutes, it was so hot, so humid, it felt like we don't get any air, we can't breathe. It was, I mean, I felt we need to go back and we're running back to the car, putting on the engine, getting air conditioned, and finally I felt we can relax again and life is coming back, but that was the first experience where we realized how hot and humid it can be here in summer and that going in the early afternoon is not a good idea and probably the other people were smarter that's why they stayed home at that time. Ismi Yusia umri 23 sana. I've lived here for 18 years and have uh, enjoyed growing up here in the diversity of, of the people that live here. You learn a lot about the, the different cultures. And have been impacted by the people uh, of Qatar themselves, I think the things I've learned the most um, from the people here is uh, hospitality, that they're incredibly uh, welcoming and will do anything for their guest. So I'm currently in my last year uh, in medical school and uh, my wife and I do hope to uh, return to uh, Doha. Uh, the next phase of, of training after medical school I will do uh, in the US. Qatar has given me so much, especially through my education here uh, in medical school and even before then. I think that, that I have a lot to repay um, the country for all that they've given uh, me. And so we definitely hope to, to return in the future. I had several uh, local friends throughout, throughout my years uh, here and I've very much enjoyed spending time with them, uh, whether that is going to their uh, majlis, for example, for uh, a dinner with the family, um, or even going to the beaches or the desert together, we would do that. And they're the people that, that stay here. When I come back to uh, Qatar, uh, I definitely feel like this uh, feels like home uh, and where I feel the most comfortable, where I know uh, the streets, where I have uh, friends, know which stores I, I go to, um, and yeah, where I feel the most at home.
I like to go running and uh, because we live very close to a spire, so I can go to the spire park in five minutes and I really like running in a spire park. It's very green. Um, they have very good track for, uh, which is soft for, which is good for an old guy like me. But that's a very nice way of getting some exercise and being out there in the nature, in the green. And yeah, I really like that. I do like sports and so I was thinking of what kind of sports can I do here in Qatar. I realized there's a lot of beach, there's uh, a lot of wind and so I thought maybe I should start sailing. But I was looking for something a little bit more with a kick and so I saw some films and videos about kite surfing and I thought hmm, maybe that's a good idea. So I started to look around, ask around and I found actually that there is some courses offered and that there are some trainers. So I started to go to Secret uh, and take some kite surfing lessons. And I found this is actually one of the best places probably to learn kite surfing because we have plenty of wind, uh, very flat water. So I don't need to deal with waves in the beginning. And uh, there's not too many people, so there's enough space and so I started it and it took much longer than I expected but um, after maybe 10 sessions I could finally stand on the board and ride the, uh, ride the water and so I started to really enjoy this kite surfing and uh, I had another friend with whom I can do this and I meet there other people so this is one of my favorite activities now going kite surfing whenever there is wind. Through the school from my kids, it was an international school, so I met also a lot of Qatari people, Qatari, Qatari men, and I became friends with uh, several of those, and they started to invite me into their houses, and I found that they have something that I've never heard or seen, which was a majlis like this, um, where the guests come and sit, the men sit in one room and the women sit in another room, and I really enjoyed this, just sitting down in a very relaxed way, talking to each other, choking to each other, talking about politics, about philosophy, just having a good time together, enjoying each other, drinking some tea and some coffee. This is something I don't know from Germany. Usually they're the young teenagers, they're on their own, and the older people on their own, they never do something together or in the same room. So after nearly 20 years here in Qatar, coming back to Doha, uh, it does feel like home. I mean, the place here, we've been living here for many years and it, feel like, it feels like home. This is where I have my friends, this is where I have my activities, um, this is where I, mean, I know my way around better than any other place and one reason why we actually choose to stay here for quite a long time because they make us feel at home. <laughs>